What's up guys, Jake here, and today we're at Lake Martin's Chimney Rock, and today we're gonna be scuba diving to see what we can find at the bottom of this lake. Now this is a super popular cliff jumping spot. My buddy Jared from Skiers Marine actually let us demo a really nice boat. It's right out there called the Mastercraft XT23. It's one of the best on the market. It's really good for surfing, but also just laying back on the lake. I'm so excited just to spend a day out here and hopefully find some good stuff. If you wanna learn more about that boat and his business, I'm gonna have a link in the description below. Make sure you guys check him out, give him some love. This video wouldn't be possible without him. But with that said, let's jump off into the water and hopefully find some good stuff. All right, so we're here at Chimney Rock. We're about to dive in. I'm so excited to see if we can find some cool stuff. Let's do this, man. Oh, 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 oh,
All right, guys, so this is my buddy Jared. He's been a childhood friend of mine for the longest time. Now, before I show you guys all the cool stuff that we found today, I think we're actually gonna go surfing. So this is like one of the best boats to, uh, to wake surf. And Jared here at Skiers Marine is gonna tell us a little bit more about this craft and why it is one of the best. Yeah, so we're on the Mastercraft XT23. It's, of course, 23 foot long. Um, and it's just got the Gen 2 surf system, which is really cool. Um, yeah. So basically, you just hit a few buttons. You activate the profile you wanna surf. I know you're, you surf goofy, so yeah. you're gonna be on the right side. Uh, you just set it up, hit a button, it fills all the ballast, it sets your cruise control, it sets the Gen 2 surf system, and you're ready to rock. That's awesome. So we're going to go surf for a little bit, and then I'll show you guys all the treasure. But again, I'm going to have all their information in the description box below if you live near Lake Martin. But they also have two other locations, right? Uh, so we got one in Westover, Alabama, one in Athens, Alabama, one in Gainesville, Georgia, and one in Chattanooga, Tennessee. All right, a lot more than I thought. So <laughs> I'm going to put all their information in the description box below. Definitely check them out. It was super nice of them to take us out for the day. But let's go surf and catch a few waves. Let's do it. Alright guys, so we just got done surfing and I had so much fun. I can't believe we honestly found so much treasure, but also we had a good time on the surfboard. But I do want to show you guys everything I found in detail. So first off, I'm going to start off with the trash. There was so much trash that I wasn't able to get everything. I just tried my best in the area that I had and all the trash I was picking up actually murked up the water. So it made it super difficult if I kept picking up trash, but I'll definitely come back in the future and pick up a little bit more. We're going to throw all this away here shortly. but. I've got a bag full of treasure and like I said, this is definitely one of my best days of treasure hunting in a long time. Let me show you guys everything I found real quick. I'm going to start off with my first find of the day and it's an Apple Watch. Check it out. It's a Series 3 Apple Watch. Now it doesn't turn on when I click the button, but who knows, you know, you put it on the charger, let it dry out or something, maybe it'll turn back on. And all this treasure that I found, I'm going to be sure to give it back to the rightful owners completely for free if I can figure it out. So maybe this person will get lucky. My second find of the day is another Apple Watch. Check it out. What's pretty crazy is that I've actually never found an Apple Watch other than the default band. This is like a Velcro band or something, but it didn't work for this person. They jumped off the cliffside and lost their Apple Watch. Same thing, this one's not turned on, but I'm gonna dry it out, see if it charges up, and I'll be sure to give it back to the person, and I'll be sure to update you guys too. And my third favorite thing I found today is a GoPro Hero 8. This is the newest, uh, oh dude, this is the black actually. This is the best of the best and the newest one. I'm not too sure if this one turns on. I click the button, I think the battery might be dead. But like everything else, I'll take it home, dry it out, and see if it turns on. And if we can find the owner, we'll be sure to give it back to him. So there's always amazing footage on these GoPros that are lost. If you want to see a video where I review the footage and try to find the owner, leave a like on this video. I'll make a deal with you guys. If we can break 50,000 likes on this video, we'll review the footage and then show you guys that. And hopefully we can find the owner and give it back to him. Whether I find the person or if I team up with you guys here on YouTube, hopefully we can find that person so we can give it back to him. All right, so my fourth favorite find that I came across was an old Fitbit. Now, I'm not too sure if this turns on either, but that's pretty cool. And then other than that, 
I found two jewel-like things. Uh, I guess they're just e-cigarettes, something like that. Uh, and I got one more thing. I had no expectations of finding something like this, and I honestly can't believe it, but I was searching the edge of the cliff wall. It wasn't at the very bottom of the lake. It was actually on the wall, and I found a gold wedding ring. Check that out. I believe it's real. It feels pretty heavy. If you know anyone who lost a wedding ring at Lake Martin's Chimney Rock, feel free to send them this video. Take a look at it. If this looks like your ring, send me some proof, and then I'll send it to you for free. I hope you guys enjoyed today's YouTube video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Remember, if we can break 50,000 likes, if there's footage on this Lost GoPro Hero 8 that I found, we'll review it and try to find the owner and we'll give it back to him completely for free. I'm not too sure if it's gonna work, but it'd be really cool to see the lost sunken footage. So yeah, drop a like if you guys wanna see that. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. I'd love for y'all to join me on my next adventure. But till then, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.